the UK is literally underwater. It's pissing now. I mean, I wanted to do other things in the van, but I can't because it's lashing down. So I can't get sheets out, can't cut things because it's just pissing down. Still waiting to do the toilet, but not nothing to do about it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the framework up there for the shelf. Now, I know that that's where the actual end of the, the shower ends. So this is, you know, <clears throat> the frame doesn't have to be millimetre perfect. It doesn't have to meet to the end of this. It just has to be a frame. So once the shit kit the shit all <laughs> once the shower's built, I can uh, put the face boards on, put the underneath on, and cut them to size and screw them from the inside on to hold it all in place. But let's get the framework up first, because it's gonna be quite a deep cupboard. It's gonna come out to about there, and it's gonna, you know, it's gonna be a big cupboard. The end part here is gonna be a switch controller. And it's going to be the controller for the actual um, boiler as well. Bloody weather! So first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a baton on the back there. Quite a substantial baton. And I'm going to screw this to the metal framework in the back. So what I can do then is I can then come in with the furniture board. And then that will sit underneath like that. Right underneath there. I've given it enough gap. I've given it enough gaff at this end so it'll sit nice and there won't be, you know, it'll look pretty. But first of all, we need to get a couple of screws in to hold this baton onto the wall. Right, so that's going to be the height of the baton. Nothing in a van runs level. So, you have to make the most of what you've got when you've got it. So that's going to go in there. The bottom piece is going to sit on the bottom there. And then that just gives you a nice little bit of a gap just at that end. Just so it all meets. And then this is going to come to there like this. So it's going to look nice. So what we need to do now is we need to screw these ones in and get this bottom fixed. Right, that's going nowhere. Right, well that is going nowhere. That, when we get the board in, like that, we can then screw from the top, all the way down, into the board. So we're just gonna drill through, and just make a couple of part holes. So when we come to fixing the actual board up, we've got a couple of part holes in place to fix it to. Right, so next we need to work out how deep the cupboard's coming out. Let's measure the height. Right, typical, 13 inches. So we need to make a frame that is 13 inches down and then we can screw that to the actual ribs that run across the van. But we can get it fixed on two of the main ribs which will give it a hell of a lot of strength. Right, so what I've done here, I've got two pieces which are the same length as the backs and then I've got two pieces to go in the ends and then there's going to be one piece going in the middle which I'm not going to put in until I know exactly where the end unit is going to stop right so we're going to be using this you've all seen me use this before well you might have if you've seen the um, the videos for the cabinets in the back you'll have seen me using this and basically what this does is it makes sure that you get a a proper angle on your wood. Get a little bit of glue on. It does help. And then you basically just line the jig up. Make sure everything's square. Make sure it's all flush. Give it a little nip up. Because we're using mega long screws. Give it a good pilot hole. 
Take another big ass screw. And there we go, nice and flush. So this is gonna go basically on there like that. And I'm gonna screw it up to these two joists that go right, these two beams that go right across the van. Right now once I've got it up, we'll just measure the middle. I'm just gonna put a pilot hole through the middle. And I'm gonna put a brace right in the back just to brace the whole section together. We also need this screw on the front just to countersink just a little bit. So when we put the front on, there's nothing blocking the actual wood screw that's on the front. Find your hole, which shouldn't be hard to find. Right, so now we've got the frame up. The assistant's back. Hi. Um, we're just gonna use a piece of scrap um, furniture board Basically to use for the end panel which is going to go on here, which the switches are going to be in for the boiler and other little switches there. So we just need to cut this section off and then we can mount the switches in there. And then once we come to put the board on, then we can actually move this and then do the door. Makes sense? It'll all become crystal clear. Right, so cut the panel. That's going to go there like that. That's going to house the controls for the boiler and it's also going to control a switch pack there and then behind it there's going to be the Wi-Fi and all other things like that. We're going to just put it on four screws with some caps on so we can get to behind dead easy get all, all the cables all the wires. Well that's it, that's the shelf in, all we need to do now is put the door on, but I'm not putting the door on yet because this panel here might need to move that way by about half an inch to meet up with the side of the actual shower that's going in, I don't know. It's measured right for the shower but once we get the shower wall in we need it to meet up properly so this corner here was going to meet, I've left a little bit of an overhang on this one just so you know, we've got, a, we've got an inch there just to play with. The shower should come to here. This might need to move over just by a couple of mil to meet up with the edge of the shower. Then we can trim this down and it'll all meet in flush and nice. Then we can mount the door and then sort the back house. And that's it. Other jobs I've got done today is I've actually got underneath and I've plumbed all the system up so all the waste system works in the van. That now all works. All the water works as well. We got all that sorted. That's no problem. That's all fixed. Do you go fishing? Do you like fishing? Stanley Orchard. Probably, if not, the greatest and best fishing channel on YouTube. And I don't mean like sitting there with a float 
boring I'm talking epic so go on the YouTubes head over to Stanley Orchard I'm gonna leave a link up here somewhere to his channel go and find out what it's all about you won't be you know you're gonna thank me if you do go over subscribe leave a comment Neil sent me do it now right I'm gonna go and do some more stuff whatever you do do it well get out there build a van and I'll see you soon <laughs>